a, a more fundamental point I want to make, though, is that there is this kind of narrative out there that you've got these mean-spirited, uh, you know, particularly Republican governors who are on the war path against teachers. Um, and I just think that is, I, I think that is just an enormously problematic reading of what these folks have said. You know, what Scott Walker said this winter was he said, we're broke, it's about time somebody stood up and told the truth. He said, I have great respect for the more than 300,000 state and local government employees who work here in the state of Wisconsin. <laughs> They're good, decent, hardworking people. They're professionals, blah, blah. A Wisconsin State Senator Leah Vukmer said, from our perspective, it's about money. The state of Wisconsin is broke. We're out of that negotiating ability. We don't have anything to give anyone more. Uh, Governor Chris Christie said last fall, we have to get realistic in telling people the truth. Nobody wanted the teachers laid off, not me, not the school board, not the teachers union. So I would argue that this does not sound to me um, like demagoguery. I mean, I think Stephen Brill is another question. But these, uh, the, the, these elected leaders, I think, have actually been quite measured. And in response, if you think back to Wisconsin six months ago, uh, Wisconsin was compared uh, to uh, pre-Nazi Germany. Walker was compared to Hitler and Mubarak. Uh, the, the Speaker of the Wisconsin State House, uh, Fitzgerald, was threatened with an email. We have all planned to assault you by arriving at your house and putting a nice little bullet in your head. However, this isn't enough, it went on. Uh, Senator Kapanke, who had nails scattered on his driveway and his windshield broken, received an email, we will hunt you down, we will slit your throats, we will drink your blood, I will have your decapitated head on a pike in the Madison Town Square. This is your last warning. There were thousands of these reported to the Wisconsin state government and collected and investigated. So, you know, the notion that somehow it was those pushing to roll back collective bargaining were somehow using vitriol on the warpath and that their opponents were somehow being measured and responsible is to me at least, I think, a misreading of the dialogue. Really? So, look, uh, we, I agree with you, Rick, that any time that I, I'm very concerned about the de demagoguery. Um, and in fact, years ago, you know, I got in big trouble when I said that educators have to be really, educators have a right of freedom of speech, but we also have a responsibility in terms of how we use it. And you know that, you know, and, and I, I got in big trouble for saying that by, by lots of people who said, you know, you should, you, you know, you should just protect the freedom of speech. The, the, our Wisconsin Federation also got these kind of death threats. Um, when I've seen people put up signs like comparing a public figure to Hitler, I denounce that. I think that's wrong. Um, I, I think that we have to be really careful about what the origins of fascism are, and we have to be really careful in terms of protecting our democracy. But where I divert, diverge from you is that the facts are very different than what you said in terms of Wisconsin. And the facts about Chris Christie are very different. I watched the YouTube video of when a teacher said something to Christie that he went right at that teacher and bullied that teacher. And that was a public official doing that in a very demagogic way. I also watched the Wisconsin unions basically tell Walker, we will negotiate these issues. And he refused. He never met with them once. The issue is not budget. The issue was whether or not they have a right to collectively bargain. And what we saw right after Walker was elected was that the contract that the last governor and the state employees had done, which included millions and millions of dollars of concessions, Walker found a way to reject using the state Senate. So this was not about budget. This was actually about getting rid of rights. And, that's, and, and I think that the piece that you didn't say was that, and the piece that were really uh, that, that everyone started looking at and kind of shaking their head about was that when Walker pushed through the budget repair bill initially, he also said he was going to call the state police out because he expected there to be violence. And if you remember, 
the punk call with the Koch brothers, he went on and on and on through the kind of things that they were trying to do, including infiltrate the crowd to try to create that kind of violence. So the issue here in terms of Walker or Kasich or, um, or, or the um, Rick Scott is that no one's saying that there shouldn't be a real dispassionate look at what we can do. But the unions in Wisconsin agreed to the demands, and they were not even given the respect to have a meeting with Walker. He wanted to eliminate collective bargaining. 